Hey guys, <clears throat> so I recently bought a webcam from Walmart. It's a $20 camera, uh, the Logitech C110, and I wanted to do a quick video on how to use that webcam as a security camera. These instructions should work for basically any camera that has motion detection. The setup should be basically the same. The first thing you're going to need to do is install the camera software. If, it com if your camera comes with a, uh, with a CD, you can use that. If it does not, then you'll have to go to the support page for that camera. Uh, in Logitech's case, it's logitech.com forward slash downloads. Uh, it'll bring you to this page. Go to webcams. This is the C110 right here. Click on that. And up here in the top right, click on that. You'll choose your operating system. And then which file you want to download. I just used the smart installer. And then download software. So once it's downloaded, go ahead and run it. It's pretty straightforward. And once it's installed, you'll see the a little camera icon down here in your start uh, test bar. I'll go ahead and double click on that. And it brings up the home screen. And then motion detection is down here on the bottom left. And it brings you to the motion detection screen. Uh, here you can see what it's looking at. I have it pointed at my second monitor here. Over here we have our options. Uh, the sensitivity. The lower the sensitivity, the less motion it takes to activate your camera, and the higher, the more motion it takes to activate your camera. Uh, you'll just have to mess around with this to find the, the right setting for your uh, setup. Next option is for timestamps. I usually in, uh, enable this option. I like to see when the date and the time that the videos were taken, and I also want to record audio. And then I also set the max duration to the max, which is 15 minutes in this case. And you can also set a schedule around your work schedule or whatever schedule you have for that week or whatever your schedule might be. So we have to add, we have to add the schedule first before we can enable it. So 8 to 6, we'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Save. Enabled. So now on those days between 8 and 6, it will be actively monitoring for motion. If for some reason you don't see the motions options, the button for it is right here. You can toggle this on and off right here. So we have our schedule set, but if you want to enable motion detection some other time that's not in your schedule, you can use this button right here. Clicking this button will enable it. And right here you can see that it's active. So any motion, I'll put my finger in front of it, you can see the bar move and it's not going to start recording until it reaches that preset that we've set already. So I'll go ahead and get max that. See once it's get red, then you can see it's recording. Motion goes away. And then the, the video shows up right here. So we can click on that. And you can view it on the screen. If you need to copy that to a jump drive, say, you can go click on this go to file here. And it will take you to where it's stored. So now you have motion detection activated. Someone breaks into your house and steals your computer. Well, all those files that caught their faces are on your computer. There is a solution, however. If you have a Dropbox account, you can see my video on flintech.com on how to set that up if you don't have one. What you can do is go to your Dropbox. I'm going to add a new folder in here name it security alright minimize that I'm going to close this open up my software again up here in the top right go to preferences 
And here's the default location where it saves your video files for your motion detection. So I'm going to cl click on Browse, go to my Dropbox folder, click on Security, OK, Save. So now, now anytime it records, it will save to your Dropbox folder. This is also good if you're out of town and you want to keep a good look on your uh, house. So now we'll go to the Dropbox folder here. Where did I put it at? There it is. Security. And there it is. You can also use that for to keep an eye out at work as well. And that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email at brandonflynn at flintech.com. I'll be happy to email uh, to get to those questions. Thanks.